So today's work involves trying to figure out if we can install a UK purchased seat swivel under that double bench seat at the front of Gail's van. They don't sell the seat swivel to North Americans, and there may be a reason why. We're going to find out. Stay tuned. Gail's van came with a bit of an unexpected challenge. The passenger seat is a double bench, and we originally uh, anticipated changing that to a single seat and putting a swivel on it. Um, but that was going to be a really expensive endeavor. So we started looking at whether or not you could swivel the double seat um, to make that room usable inside the living part of the van. And as it turns out, there is a system, but it comes from the UK, and they don't sell it to people in North America. And we're probably going to find out why. First step in removing these seats is to uh, disconnect the power and I've got a couple pictures showing where there's a grounding plug that you can disconnect under the uh, driver's side under by the steering wheel. a few future challenges. One is you'll see my my feet are on this box. Without the box the seat's quite high in this uh, in this orientation. When it's turned around the other way the floor goes up on an angle so it doesn't seem as high. But over here we're going to need some sort of stool or something maybe a flip down off the bottom to make it comfortable for your feet beyond. This seat is also going to spin around but that's a different, uh, a different swivel mechanism. So that's one challenge, it's going to be coming up with something to, to make the feet work and not get in the way of uh, the main pack. But the other problem we're going to have is the wiring. I'll show you uh, in here. This opens up and this is how you access the knobs to turn it around. But uh, this connector is the original connector. This is the original wire. There's no way to make those even reach each other right now. Um, perhaps bringing it up the other side, but um, that's going to be a challenge. Is that's 12 wires where the wiring harness that they provided for the UK models is only two wires. So just uh, back to its original orientation, so I can plug the wire back in and not worry about uh, throwing a fault code. So uh, there are eight thumb screws. I've only got four installed right now and they just come out fairly quickly. So I would think that eight is for driving and four is for when yeah. you're parked. I would think that you don't need to have eight in place if you're just sitting on it. It does move uh, quite easily after you get the bolts out. All the uh, thumb screws out and we'll just close this up. And then it just pivots by going back and forth a little bit. Oh wow. Right. And then you just open up the front again, whoops, and replace the thumb screws. And in this orientation, we'll be able to plug that um, 
airbag plug back together. It's a little tricky to line them up, but after you get a two in, they'll just they'll all line up. So you turned it back around because you discovered what? Well, I found out that I can disconnect this uh, connector from the seat, and it might make it long enough that these two can join together, but maybe not. Without getting guillotine? Well, it won't be able to be swung. I'm just trying to plug it in so that we can use the seat in this orientation while we're doing the build. Oh, I see. So it, it, it won't be good for rotating, but... No, it won't work. So you're not hopeful that you'll ever have it permanently? Not without modifying the wiring, which I am very resistant to do. Mm. So close, but not quite. So if you were to turn it and plug it back in, that now if you were to rotate it, what would happen? Right now? Yeah. This would be it would get cut off because this square has to flip over to that square, and to do that, it has to pass by this wire. Uh. So that would not. It won't work. It would not be a good dead. True. So we'll hook that up. Then I can put the, um, the battery back together and we can uh, leave it this orientation for the build so 